so very good day to everybody once again uh, this is uh, using python in multimedia and gaming machines and in today's class we'll discuss about camera and projections culling and clipping and character animation okay so this is especially for you my dear students and young researchers and you can reach me at dr.christwanand at the rate of gmail.com so before beginning the session once again let me thank god for giving me this opportunity to deliver this useful session to share my knowledge among my fellow national international participants students and young researchers so in this class we'll discuss about projection then we discuss about perspective projection uh, view plane the anomalies in the perspective projection parallel projection what are the types of parallel projection how you try to view the volume in the perspective projection projected object then we, we go for the second part of today's class which is nothing but clipping and culling okay then transformation and lighting how are animated create uh, characters being created the traditional animation and finally 3d animation cgi so that we will be discussing so i hope everybody has completed all the inhibitant works in the hemis i will be evaluating them so at regular intervals i will be giving you some short videos to discuss the knowledge in our topics right so this is projection so you you are going to convert a 2d object into uh, i mean a 3d object into a 2d object okay so it is actually the process of converting a 3d object into a, a 2d object so you can also define it as mapping or maybe transformation of the object in the projection plane or maybe the view plane so here the view plane is the displayed surface so in the projection you see parallel projection perspective projection parallel you have orthographic oblique uh, then orthographic you have multi view uh, axonometric oblique you have like a, a cavalier cabiner then axonometric you'll have isometric diametric trimetric okay perspective you have 1.2 point 2 point 3 point you have several classification of the projection okay so in perspective projection farther away which means set from here okay like the object over there okay will small it will be appearing okay maybe if you are seeing from here that will be very very small okay so this property of projection will give the idea about the depth okay so the artist will be using perspective projection from drawing the 3d scenes okay so two main characteristics of the perspectives you can call it as the vanishing point and the perspective foreshortening okay so due to foreshortening you know the object as well as length will appear smaller from the center of the projection okay so if we try to increase the distance from the center of projection so the object smaller will be the object that will appear okay then you have vanishing point it is a point where all lines will appear to me okay so that can be like one point or maybe two point or maybe three point perspectives okay. so two point there are two vanishing points one x direction and another y direction three points one x direction okay one is x okay second is y and third two directions okay so in the perspective projection the lines of projection do not remain parallel parallel okay so the lines converge at one point what is called as be the center of projection so the projected image on the screen is obtained by the point of the intersection of the converging lines with the plane of the screen so the image of the screen is seen as the viewer's eye were located at the center of the projection the lines of projection would correspond to the path travel by the light beam originating from the object okay so we have like view plane okay it's a area of the world coordinate system which is projected into the viewing plane then you have center of projection it is actually the location of the eye on which the projected light rays are going to converge then you have projectors it is also called as the projection vector so these are the rays which start from the object scene okay center of projection okay so that is going to create a image of the object on the viewing or maybe the viewer plane so maybe with the projector okay so you are going to create a view okay like maybe a um house okay so this is actually the viewing plane okay so with regards to x and then y okay so there are two points vanishing points so we'll have like several anomalies due to this object shape and appearance gets 
affected okay so we'll have perspective foreshortening so which means that the size of the object will be small of its distance from the center of the projection increases then you have vanishing points all lines appear to meet some point in the view plane so we'll have distortion of lines the range lies in front of the viewer to back of the viewer okay so that will have like six rollers so maybe in the house okay we'll have x vanishing point y vanishing point so this corresponds to x y and z axis so for shortening of maybe the z axis okay so maybe in this we will be pro pro producing the vanishing point p1 that is corresponding to the house okay then for shortening maybe like x axis or maybe z axis results in two vanishing points okay so that's what you find it here and here adding a y axis for shortening that will be adding vanishing point along the y's so we here we have like three points p1 p2 and p3 so we'll have parallel projection so that's going to display the picture with a true shape and true size so when the projectors are actually perpendicular to the view plane you call it as the orthographic projection so here the parallel projection is actually formed by extending the parallel lines from each uh, vertex of the object until they intersect the plane of the screen so here the point of intersection is nothing but the projection of the vertex so parallel projections are actually used by maybe art architects or maybe engineers for creative working drawing of the object for complete representation that would require like two or maybe more uh, views of the object using the different planes so this is the you know the parallel projection a b c so we'll have parallel projection from top top view okay a direction okay b side view this side okay and c this direction so uh, i think you would have studied about engineering graphics so we have this one top view so how it will look like top view it will see only this one this one you cannot see yes so maybe this one would be there okay this one would be there that's all so that is what you get the top view side view okay so this would be seen this would be seen okay so this would be there this like like this other than other things you cannot see okay and parallel projection from c direction this side this side would be seen this side would be seen others will not be seen okay so that is the reason you get parallel projection from this side. so parallel projection as i told you earlier we are dividing into isometric diametric trimetric cavalier cabinet okay so all projectors will be making equal angles like 30 degree okay so diametric two projectors will be having equal angles so with respect to the two principal axes trimetric uh, direction of propagation would be making unequal angle with the principal axis so cavalier all the lines perpendicular to the projection plane are projected with no change in the length then cabinet all lines perpendicular to the projection plane are projected to one half of the wavelength so that gives the realistic appearance of the object okay so here we'll be having you know projectors okay the window okay so here we'll be having front plane and back plane so that's the view volume you'll get so the viewing volume in the perspective projection is given by center of a projection okay to the projectors okay so through the windows it will go to front plane back plane and the view volume okay. so maybe if you can see uh, the parallel projection of hut so maybe only this side you can see okay but if you go for the three dimensional you will see everything okay the lines associated so this is the projected object so maybe i, I told you like a object original okay so this is the hut okay and center of projection is from the front okay so which means that you will be having uh you know the top view top view like this so from the top if you see like this you will see only this one. okay so that's a thing you will get here and then this is the projected object from here okay so you'll get only this one. so this is the original object this shows when the projection is taken okay so this is actually the projected object so uh, it's actually going to change the direction of projection so from here at the top view that it is going to project okay so that shows the object after changing the direction of projection okay 
so this one it will be corresponding so this one everything would be line would be joined so that's the reason you get like this okay so the center of projection meet at the chosen point so everything would be corresponding to one point okay so that's the reason you get like this then we'll go for clipping and culling so clipping and culling you can use it in computer graphics and maybe most frequently when you're going to frame the computer games okay so both clipping and culling you can use it for adding beauty to the graphics and of course you can augment the visual effects so the techniques used in clipping and culling are more similar but with many differences that the uh, uh, common man can find it hard to understand okay so culling is the process of removing objects that are not seen by the camera from the frame which means that it is going to leave fewer polygons for the paper vision engines to process then you have clipping it is actually the process by which the polygons that ex extend past the camera are maybe picked or maybe culled so clipping will be allowing all the polygons to disappear even okay so clipping will be allowing all polygons to disappear so even in video games even more of the clipping method is actually used than the culling technique so maybe using the clipping technique the video quality is actually increased and maybe the frame uh, rate is actually improvised okay so more of a clipping also increases the presentation speed so the clipping technique is actually used when the objects are partially visible so culling you can use it for removing a hidden surface in the graphics processor so culling we have two types one is mccam magnitude comparison content addressable memory cull operation and maybe sub pixel cull operation so there are several terms maybe like phase culling or maybe occlusion culling and so on. so you can go for clipping that can add to the computer's uh, games visual quality so when compared to culling clipping is going to establish the highest polygon okay so most of the time you have you can do clipping with the graphic system okay so culling you can reject objects completely outside that particular viewing volume so culling is usually done by application and is done just before the transformation and light then we'll go for character animation so it's actually a type of animation that is going to use movement speech and maybe tone to bring the character to the life okay so animators can shape characters to take on the desired personality experience specific emotions or embark on a physical or maybe mental journey so we'll have like homer simpson mickey mouse scooby doo so that they are examples of the well known animated character so maybe like talking something we can uh, add some voice over okay right so as the examples demonstrate the characters don't have to be a humanoid for us to relate to them in fact the strangest looking characters seem to be most understandable okay so maybe they will expl express their feelings their ideas in the way that people will try to understand okay which is which may be uh, much more easier to understand using the simple animation motives okay so like puppy eyes okay exaggerated smile ha 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 like this okay and maybe stream out of the years maybe the year will go big which means that it's angry okay like that so how are animated characters created so actually the role of the character animator is comparable okay with the film or maybe the stage actor so maybe we'll understand better understand it as actors with a pencil okay so maybe you'll use like mouse or maybe touchpad for understanding this one so like an actor animators will be injecting the flat characters with a sense of life creating illusions of personality emotion thought or maybe an opinion that seek to be emphasized with okay so some uh, principles would be like facial expression rhythm okay exaggeration movement timing color stretch and so on okay so as we saw here okay so it's a, a emotion that we try to show okay so traditional animation can also be created maybe that can create like flat characters a hugely flexible approach which is a testament for the longevity right so traditional animation is a uh, incredibly a lengthy process every second of time will have like 24 unique drawings that you will draw so with the advantage of the digital tools and maybe animation software the process is much more streamlined as well 
then we'll have 2d vector animation so it's an animation style which consists of computer rendered vectors so with 2d shapes and of course motion styles 2d vector animations will be having a smooth and of course a dynamic uh, uh, look even and even simplest ideas can be realized okay so but in the versatile uh, format okay you can use it for all types of the animation concepts so the advantage is that 2d vector animation are less time consuming and of course less expensive than the other animation formats so due to the development of newer animating technologies 2d animation did go out for the fashion like uh, we'll be having like incredible comeback especially in the business content creation due to the simple nature and for tested longevity then you'll have 3d animation cgi okay so that is going to encapsulate the uh, process of creating three dimensional movie characters and maybe putting them in the animated or maybe live action environment so you'll have several stages like modeling how you try to generate character layout animating the movement and rendering generation into the final image okay so currently outside of the film and even tv even 3d animation you can use it in several areas maybe like medicine real estate in order to build some buildings virtually and maybe advertisement even so 3d rendered characters like uh, will have like more still characters but it's like a cartoon character okay so we can see all sides to the 3d character okay making them more physically relatable for example one 3d character is there this side you can see this side you can see top you can see so a 3d picture even like facebook even will have the 3d picture you can rotate and see 